Hi everyone, today I'm going to share one of my favorite tools with you guys um, as well as one or two of my favorite techniques. This little silicone spatula um, designed by Finnebar for Prima is fantastic. Comes in two sizes, this one which is a one inch and then a wider two inch one. I prefer the one inch because I can get it into all kinds of containers that have pastes. Today I'm going to be working with Little Birdie Mixed Media Modeling Paste slash Gesso. Um, it's quite a solid product, very smooth consistency. Um, with a smaller spatula you will see you would work a little bit harder on getting it applied very smoothly um, on the surface but it really is worth working it that way. You will see that I'm applying the paste going into one direction. Um, there's something irritating me here. I think it's an art stone, but I took it out. Um, you can see that I'm literally moving in one direction. I'm not going back and forth. What makes this spatula so fantastic is the fact that the end is tapered. So it actually moves with your paste into the direction you're telling it to go. If you go back and forth, it goes under your stencil. As you can see, that is a perfect application. Um, I do recommend that you take some time applying your paste or whatever product you're using through your stencil it is absolutely worth it. Now I'm going to be working with another medium now so I'm just wiping my spatula clean because it is silicone it wipes clean very easily. My spatula is about two years old I literally throw it into water and let it soak when I'm done. I'm going to be using Finn's 3D gloss gel now this is a very thick mm, gel medium if that makes any sense and it dries clear. Um, it is a gloss product so when we're finished um, it will be see-through on whatever you're applying it but I'm going to be adding some glitter. Um, you can see there I've got another, another little art stone. <laughs> um, it's because I use my products a lot they do tend to pick up some debris along the way. Okay so I'm speeding the video up slightly so that I won't bore you. You can see how I am cleaning up the gloss just to remove any unwanted lines but it doesn't really bother me that much because I'm going to be adding glitter. You can see once again didn't go under the stencil perfect. Um, I'm going to be sprinkling some little birdie glitter as soon as I can open the jars. I forgot to remove the um, protective coverings. There you can see they all have it in. And I'm simply sprinkling the glitter on um, and I'm trying to cover all the gloss gel. You can see there we go. I'm going to leave that to dry completely. Now I'm simply brushing off all the excess glitter. I'm going to fussy cut these and apply them to a project. There you can see, quick and easy and honestly the best tool, that spatula.